Father, please. Please help me. I will, my child. I will. Victoria. I believe we need to perform an exorcism. But I cannot do that without the consent of the person who is possessed. That's why I'm here tonight. I need your permission. You need my permission. <laughs> because there's a chance I could die. Right? Yes. Of course. Of course you can. <laughs> Anything to get this, this thing out of me. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and try it, you fucking priest! You really think you can expel me? Be my guest! I will rip you to pieces! What's the matter, priest? Scared! Preacher, it is you who should fear me. I'll never let you have her. Then by all means, try to save her. In the end, I will be laughing and she will be dead! Trying out my sweet new camera. Come on, say something interesting, Nick. Oh, come on, man, don't leave me hanging. Your car's a piece of crap! Hey, hey, <laughs> you never talk bad about my baby. Your baby? <laughs> Besides, it's better than Mark's piece of shit car. Oh! Oh, oh, come on, man. Don't be bitter. Who says I'm bitter? Shit, I'm not the one covering up my insecurities, buddy. <laughs> well, your, uh, your sister didn't think I was so insecure. Oh, <laughs> such an asshole. Man. Oh, oh, shit. Harassment, assault. I caught it on camera. Hey, can you see that? Pussy. I mean, come on, Vic. Your brother gets assaulted in broad daylight and you're just laughing. Yeah, I am. Dude, you guys are both dumbasses, okay? I'm not a dumbass. <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> and what are you saying, huh? You need your little sister to take care of you? <laughs> Dude, I thought That's it was right. supposed to be the other way around. Yeah, right. Right. <laughs> You're the other way around. <gasps> oh, you got me good, bro. <laughs> What's up, idiot? When you start working on your piece of shit car, you know, I do have other things to do besides this. So. Like what? Yourself? Oh, gross, I gross. Was I do not want to know what you guys do when you're bored. Can we just get this thing going? Where do I start? Well, you 
can start with the engine. That's what you know. You boys are here. Can you help me with the groceries, please? Good thing, Mom. Sure. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Hey, Victoria. We're having uh, linguine and clams tonight for dinner. So, uh, don't fill up on anything, okay? Can you tell your dad? Okay, Mom, I will. <laughs> oh, wait! Aunt Maria called. She wants you to give her a call back. Something about the mortgage broker she's dealing with. Okay. All right. Thank you. Asian chick. Asian chick, huh? Every day. You know, Vic. I, don't, I don't Hey, Vic! Okay, so she, she's just going to run the house. Oh, obviously not going to help me with that. Right. So, uh, I mean, I don't, you take that one, too. But. I'm not taking it. Why? Because this is your house. Those are yours. His hands are always disgusting. <laughs> I'm sorry, sweetie. I'm just I'm neck deep in this case right now, and I just it could be such a great one for us. <laughs> it's all right, Dad. I just came to tell you that Mom is making linguine and clams tonight for dinner. Good luck concentrating now. Wait, your mom's home already? Uh, seems like she just left. Yeah, I, she just got back from the store. I guess they let her out early at the hospital. Oh, lucky her. Did you uh, did you tell her Aunt Maria called? It seemed pretty urgent. Uh, how could I forget? I was the one stuck talking to her for half an hour. <laughs> well, don't worry about me. I can concentrate through anything. Remember, I grew up with you two brats. I heard that. I second that. <laughs> Touching your noodles. You're not feeling good? Did you eat something earlier? I don't know. I'm just. I'm not very hungry. Sorry, Mom. Are you still not sleeping, honey? Uh, no. Uh, that medicine you gave me is not working very well. Why didn't you say something? <laughs> I don't know. I just didn't want you to worry. It's not that big of a deal. I'm not like falling over at work or anything. I'm just a little tired. Well, if you're not getting any sleep or feeling any better, we can get you something different, you know? I am a doctor. I mean, I do know what I'm talking about. Like what some people might think. <laughs> so what about you, Glenn? How was your day? Any closer to moving out? John! Oh, I, I, the boy's 24 years old. He doesn't need to keep living with Mommy and Daddy. His girlfriend's got her own place, and he spends, she spends more time here than he does there. I'm still looking, Dad. It's not like I'm going to be living here when I'm 40. Oh, Glenn. Let's hope not. <laughs> Besides, I don't say how it's fair that I pay rent, all I get is a purple room upstairs, while Vic here gets the entire downstairs. Oh, cry me a river. When Victoria finishes an expensive trade school that we paid for, and then comes back to live in our house and use our electricity and water, she will pay rent. So, how is your job going? It's going pretty well. They even paid for my new camera. Oh, Ooh. nice. Wow. So, uh, so when you have your next gig, we can all come and watch, right? Dad, you just can't walk onto a film set. I'm sorry, but there are rules I must follow. Okay, wasn't aware of that, but I guess it'll come out and we'll get to see it, and I'm sure it will be great. Yeah. So, Victoria, are you going out today? Oh, no, no. Um, I've got some stuff to get done. Just, you know, laundry mostly. Mm. But Glenn, we're, um, we're still going out later this week, right? I got Thursday night off from work. Yeah, sure. Um, bro and bro and sis. I ain't like bros. 
Um, I told you a million times before, why don't you just uh, leave your laundry out? I'll take care of it. I do your dad's, I do your brother's, you know, it's not a big deal. Really, Mom, it, it's, I'm all right. I'd just rather do it myself. All right. Fine. Then. I'm done offering. <laughs> Thank God for that. All right, well, I guess nobody wants dessert tonight. Whoa, oh, hey, wait, wait, wait no. Nobody said that. <laughs> so, Vic, movie night? That new horror film just came out. God, like, oh. no! No horror. Dude, every time you pick the movie, it's really friggin' scary. Okay, it's, it's my turn to pick. Just something light, something funny. Fine. I don't want to be up all night. Fine. You can pick, but that means you're driving. Deal. I can't believe they were out of everything. We couldn't even find a bad movie to watch. This sucks. You're such a baby. Jesus. Seems like every time we go out, you find something to complain about. Just enjoy the drive. Enjoy being out of the house. Well, you sure are in a chipper mood. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I was, I was just really looking forward to watching something new tonight, you know? But whatever. Hey. Since we've got nothing else going on, let's go to how to mark. Sounds good. Do you, do you want to call him first? Nah, it'd be funner if we just showed up. <laughs> <sighs> I guess my laundry will just have to wait. Yeah, about that. Why won't you let mom do your laundry? Afraid of what she might find. <laughs> ha ha. Very funny. No, I just... I don't want to rely on mom and dad for everything. Unlike you, I want to be out of there after college. That's why I'm working at the club. I hate asking mom and dad for money. I prefer to maintain my own life. At least as much as possible. Well... Then just give me your share. I need all the money I can get right now. Mm, the life of a starving artist. You bomb. Well, Mark, you haven't been here in a while and you've really livened up the place. Ooh! I don't want to freaking bomb my house. I see you're still obsessed with all this stuff. Oh! Oh. Speaking of which, I found something that the two of you might be interested in. Doubt it. Oh, okay, here it is. All right, so your, your, your mother's maiden name was, was Palmer, right? Yeah. Why? Check this out. Um, so do you two know anyone by the name of Garrison Palmer? Yeah, he is, was our grandfather, but um, he died before either of us was born, and Mom doesn't really talk about him very much. Right. Apparently he wasn't the best guy, mm -hmm. Dad. Oh shoot, um, according to this, <laughs> he was, I mean, he was a part of some cult in the early 60s, when they were known for devil worshipping, and, oh, get this, trying to raise well, it's no surprise my mom isn't religious. Ugh, whatever. Dude, I don't buy into any of that crap. <laughs> Organized religion is just an excuse to pawn money off gullible people who are easily manipulated. Afterlife's my ass. <laughs> Death isn't something you should think about, you know? When you die, you die. That's all there is to it. Cheerful, sis. wonder why mom didn't tell us about any of this. Do you think she even knows? I mean, she was still pretty young when he died. So does it say anything else? 
Well, I mean, let's see. I mean, they were pretty active. And then one day, they just all stopped. Everyone who was involved either died or pursued other things. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. But you know what? <laughs> it's too bad, though. I would have loved to ask your grandfather more about what it was like to be a part of something like that. <laughs> Crazy. Dude, is this what I think it is? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it is, actually. Uh, I got it uh, a while ago. Never, never <laughs> used it before. Dude, I want to play with it. Dude, come on, let's play with it. No. Oh, let's do this. Come on, don't be a pussy. <laughs> so I thought you guys didn't believe. Well, we don't. But come on, this looks like fun. Besides, how often do you get to say, I played with a Ouija board? <laughs> All right, what should we ask it? I know. How about how many girls has Mark slept with? <laughs> Very funny. How about <laughs> what is Victoria's middle name? No. Glenn, stop moving it. <laughs> I'm not. Mark is doing this. <laughs> Mark doesn't know my middle name. Stop apparently, it. Apparently he does. <laughs> Glenn, this isn't funny. <laughs> Fuck this. Whoa. Hey. That was amazing, man. I didn't even know you knew her middle name. I wasn't moving it. Yeah, right. You weren't moving it. Catch you later, man. I better catch my ride before she leaves. I just know it's gonna be a fun drive home.
orange sunshine. Do you even have any memory of the events that took place last night? What are you talking about? I didn't think so. I'm actually not surprised. I've never seen anyone sleepwalk the way you did. Sleepwalking? Okay, I've never done that in my life. I think it was you who was dreaming, bro. Oh no, my dear, no. You see, I would love to say that I dreamt this up, but you were definitely sleepwalking. You actually woke me up, you were being so loud. You know how hard that is. I can sleep through anything. Mom and Dad didn't wake up. Lucky you. I'm sure if you would have woken Mom up, you would have no problem remembering it. Okay, well, I really don't remember any of that, but even if I did, I'm sure you deserved it. I'll be honest with you, though. Sleepwalking or not, you scared me last night. Sorry. Come on, Mark. Let's go. Time to go. Hey, dude. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay, man. All right. But like I was saying in there, right? Mm -hmm. The girl, you know, the girl I'm supposed to meet with, she likes me, man. Oh my All God. right. She also wants to have sex with me, and she also likes me at the same time. So I'm just like, really? You know, yeah, yeah. And all you want to do, all you want to do, is take her home, right? Yeah, I want to take her home, and I want to, you know, I want to do the nasty thing. No, God, no, <laughs> you know what no. I mean? no. But, but, but the problem is, is she wants a relationship. You know what I mean? And I'm not yeah. a relationship type of dude. Mm. But the thing is, it's like if she wanted a no strings attached situation, I'm all in it. You okay. know? What so I mean? now yeah, you're saying right. you're not gonna you try that. Guy. You're not gonna try have sex with this girl. <laughs> I'm not. Well. I mean, maybe if I was drunk, maybe. <laughs> yeah, what a coincidence. Yeah. yeah. Okay, 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 I understand this. So you would if you were drunk? Yeah, I would. I would, I would <laughs> smash, I would smash that shit, man. I mean, she got a big booty. You know oh my mean? God, Mark. Look, Mark. I mean, fuck it. But look, like I said, she wants a relationship. I don't want a relationship, so, mm -hmm. and that shit. And I don't believe in no strings attached situation because a girl will always have feelings. So, like I said, motherfuckers, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't want a relationship. Mark. Yeah, we get that. We get Mark. that, hun. We get it. <laughs> give it up. Give it up already, man. Yeah. You're drunk. Whatever. Besides, back there is where you told her to meet you, right? Mm -hmm. Our car is over here. here. You gotta turn around and walk the other yeah. way. Mm -hmm. no, Good luck, my friend. Come on. Come it's on. that way. You'll be right. fine. Good right. night, Mark. Okay. Good night. Good night, Mark. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Bye. It was fun, yeah, yeah, it was. Hey, we should do this again, but next time, one of my drunken friends can join us. Oh, I'm into that. Uh, you animal? What about Kristen? Who? Oh, Rosem, you are awful. Yeah, You're I awful. know. Hey, they, they, stop, 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 stop. Last one to the car. Buys the food on the way home. Go! Yeah! <laughs> right, man. Oh, no fair, you cheated! Yeah, we still buying the food on oh, the way home. Oh, you cheated! gonna believe what she said to me last week. Hey Joey. Seriously, this time it's off the charts. Let me guess, she's tired of your troublesome antics, she wants a real man, she doesn't like the fact that you live day to day or that you have no money. Am I even close? <laughs> Not really. She actually accused me of sleeping with somebody else. Can you believe that? I mean what in the hell gives her the right to accuse me of cheating on her? 
she started the whole thing off by saying I was eyeing some girl while we were at a dinner the other night, when all I was really doing was minding my own business and eating my chicken parmesan. Then, no, no, then she goes off on a completely different tangent about me sleeping with said girl and ends the whole thing by stomping out on me in front of the whole bar. I cannot believe the nerve of that woman. So did you sleep with her? No, of course not. She just assumes I want to sleep with every girl that catches my eye. Well, can you blame her? I mean, look at your track record. No, I am aware that you are a changed man, Joey, but you gotta make sure she knows that. If you can't convince her to be more secure in your relationship, then you might as well throw in the towel. Believe me, I would know. Yeah, you're probably right. I gotta prove it to her. So how are we gonna do that? Just after 11. You're not supposed to be home for another hour. says you get I the am remote. I'm going to change the channel. Hey. <laughs> Give it. Fine.
Let's get up. Zach, what the fuck are you doing? Glenn, come on, get up. There's someone outside. What are you talking about? I saw someone in the park collapse, and they look like they need some help. So would you please just get up? So, Vic, where is this mystery person in need of our help? I don't see anyone here but us. No. No, no, no. That's, that's impossible. I, what, is, what is going on here? I saw them collapse right here. You didn't see anything, Vic. They're going crazy. No! I am positive I saw someone. Don't call me crazy! Glenn? Glenn, where are you? Glenn, please come out! Glenn, I'm sorry, I woke you up. Please come out! Uh, Late night last night? No, not too bad. Kristen went home pretty early and I just sort of went to bed. Uh, quick on the trigger, huh? <laughs> Gross. Jesus, Vic, you throw a party last night? Holy shit, Vic, are you alright? Where did you go last night? What happened to you? What are you talking about? I didn't see you last night after Kristen left. Did, did you have another nightmare? No, they can't be. Get away from me! I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Where's your sister? She's, um, she's not feeling well. I'm calling the club and letting them know she won't be in today. I just calmed her down. She just, she just needs some rest. 
Should I go check on her later? Yeah. Yeah, you should. somebody no mother why
Vic! Christ! What the hell are you doing? What? I can't take this anymore. I don't deserve to suffer like this. I don't know what's going on. I am losing it. Christ, Vic. Come on. Let's get you inside. Yeah, what's that? What's up, man? Mm -hmm. yeah, let's, um, let's go to the table. show you is a little disturbing. You're surprised how much I can handle now. <laughs> All right, man. Okay, so um, this is a girl who's being treated with exorcisms in, in Costa Rica. And I've been following her case since she got diagnosed. Come on, she's pretty fucked up. So yeah, man, you you know, tell me why we're looking at these, or where have you been for the last few weeks? I mean, I haven't seen you or Victoria in a while. There's something I need to show you. What's wrong with her? Hello, Mark. Hey, Vic. <clears throat> How you doing, lady? Are you ready? Are you ready to see her? Your mother! Vic, be quiet. You know his mom is gone. You will see her soon. Get off me! Yo, fuck this! Dude, dude, wait! Mark, Mark, wait! Mark, Mark! Dude, dude, where are you going, man? Whoa, hey! Dude, it's just Yo, me. I'm sorry. Alright, I can't do this. Now there's something seriously fucked up with your sister, I'm not gonna get involved with it. Get her help.
have to get her the hell out of here. She's not well, Dad. And the longer we keep her here, the worse it's going to get. Mom keeps filling her with drugs, but that's not going to help. Don't be ridiculous, Glenn. Your mother is a doctor. She knows what she's doing. Now, if your sister gets a good night's sleep, she'll be fine. But neither one of us think it's necessary to drag her out of this house and into a hospital. But what if you're wrong? Maybe we should get a second opinion. I've seen this before. Mark has shown me articles Mark. and... So now this has this become a religious thing? You know how your mother and I feel about that subject? Dad, I know how insane this sounds. I am not an idiot! But something is wrong with Vic and neither you nor Mom can help her! Well, have you tried discussing this with your mother? Of course not. I half expected you to believe me, but I couldn't even stand up to her. She's as close-minded as a- Hey, don't speak badly about your mother. She knows what she's talking about, and that is that. Now, don't you have to go to work? You're gonna be late. Hope you're right, Dad. Hey, Vic. What's up? Is that Glenn's camera? Hey. That is a very expensive piece of equipment, okay? Let me have that. Film me. Her name was Victoria. Her name was Victoria. Her name was Victoria and she will die. Vic! Honey! Honey, what's going on? Are you all right? Vic! Hey dad, you want anything? Beer? Soda? Better team? <laughs> Big words from a guy that roots for the Vikings. I can't believe out of all the teams in the league, you actually chose the Vikings, really? Hey, Brett Favre was the greatest quarterback that ever lived. Yeah, sure. Just like Kobe could have beat Michael. You don't know what you're talking about. Kobe could take Mike any day. Keep dreaming, son. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. To Farb and your Vikings. <laughs> what is going on? Calm down. What the hell are you doing? I'm trying to fuck you, Daddy. <laughs> I know that you've been thinking about it. You can't deny that you want me. I'm right here. So take me. Jesus Christ.
Mr. Russell. Are you Glenn? Yes. And I called you about my sister. All right. And you say you have not told your family about this yet? No. No, my parents wouldn't even consider believing me. Especially my mom. She has little faith in religion. Your father, you said he witnessed some of these events. What does he think? Probably the same as my mom. But I saw her that morning, and that was not my sister. There is something inside her. I know how crazy that sounds, and I'm sorry to put this burden on you, but I, I honestly didn't know where else to go. You did the right thing. This place is here for anyone who needs its guidance. I don't know if your sister is possessed or just very sick. I can assure you that whatever the case, I'll do everything I can for you and your family. Thank you, Father. I left her right here. Where'd she go? Ah! 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 Ah!
Mr. Carrados! Listen to me. What is happening to Victoria is not natural. She is not psychotic and she's obviously not insane. There is something evil about her. Enough of this shit. Victoria needs medical attention and that is exactly what we're going to get her. She's not possessed by some demon or presence. And the longer we stand around here and argue about this, the worse it's going to get. Mrs. Martin, please, I implore you, listen to your son. I don't think that you or your husband understand how serious this situation is. I believe your daughter is under the influence of a demon who calls himself Abaddon. This vile creature is known as the Destroyer. In the book of Revelation, they consider him a plague on mankind. If we don't act quickly with Victoria, we will not- Mr. David, you may have convinced my son of this devil presence in Victoria, but you're not going to convince us of this stupidity. Susan, please. What? Have you talked to your son about this crap? I, I... Don't you have an opinion? I don't know what to think about it, Susan. I've never seen Victoria behave like this. Mom, it all makes sense. The word Abaddon, the reason why Victoria has been acting the way she has lately, everything. This ends here. We are getting her out of here. This is ridiculous. We're taking her to the hospital. Hey, Susan. Listen, the labs came back negative. Um, the best we can do is hold her for 72 hours, but I can't really offer much more than that. So you can't find anything wrong with her? Uh, nothing. That's insane. That's re That's crazy. I, I mean, there is something wrong. She's my daughter, for Christ's sake. There is something very wrong with her. <sighs> There's really nothing we can do, but if you need anything, just please let me know.
sorry, honey. How can I help you, honey? <laughs> How can I make this better? <laughs> Are you crying because of what your daddy did to you? Is that it? What are you saying? Or rather, what he did to your sister when he made her a whore. Come here, girls. This will only hurt for a second. Susie, please help me. I don't want to get hurt. I don't want daddy to hurt me again. How did you know? Still bleeding! <laughs> Susie, wait! Where are you going? Don't leave me alone with Daddy! Please, help me! David, hurry, please come quick, hurry. Oh. <laughs> Mom. Mom. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm so sorry. You were right. You were right. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Mom. <laughs> Father, please, please help me. I will, my child. I will. Victoria, I believe we need to perform an exorcism, but I cannot do that without the consent of the person who is possessed. That's why I'm here tonight. I need your permission. You need my permission <laughs> because there's a chance I could die, right? Yes. Of course. Of course you can. Anything to get this this thing out of me. <laughs> Go ahead and try it, you fucking priest! If you really think you can expel me, be my guest! I will rip you to pieces! What's the matter, priest? Scared! Well, preacher, it is you who should fear me. I'll never let you have her. Then by all means, try to save her. In the end, I will be laughing and she will be dead! When I was just a child, my father was part of a cult. They tried to raise the demons from hell and, and bring the dead back to life. When we were kids, you know, my 
sister and I, we pretended it didn't happen. But my father would come home when his projects failed or his experiments didn't work out and he would abuse us and hurt us. He drove my mother away. She killed herself when I was six. It didn't just kill my sister and I, but it also made him go insane. He, he, he didn't want us around. We hated him for that. So when he died, we just, we told ourselves there, there couldn't be a God. How could there be a God? I mean, what God would do this to our family? So we just, after that, we stuck together and we, um, we were there for each other and we didn't trust anybody. Did I, did I do the right thing? Was I wrong? Did I, did I do this to my family? No, no, nothing you did was wrong. You're a good person, a good mother. God has a plan for all of us. I'm so sorry. Okay. I have to prepare for tomorrow. Glenn, you should get some sleep. I'm going to need you. I'm sorry it took an extra day, but as you can imagine, the Archdiocese is very careful in matters such as these. We have approval now. Victoria, do you remember anything about when or where this evil first beset you? Yeah, it was over there in the park. The night I, I thought I saw this figure fall over. The night I thought I woke you up. where we need to go. All right, everyone. Do not go near Victoria. Do not talk to her. Do not respond to her in any way. <laughs> Focus only on what I say. Do only what I tell you. Victoria will not be with us tonight. Will not be dealing with a family member. This thing can and will hurt you if you let it. Thing? As I said, Victoria will not be with us tonight. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. God arises. His enemies are scattered. And no, they hate him! Lay him for him! Glenn, stop! Glenn! Time to join Mark! The smoke is driven away, so are they driven. As wax melts before the fire, so the wicked perish at the presence of God. Leave her, demon! Go fuck yourself and die! Die, priest! We drive you from us, whoever you may be, unclean spirits. All satanic powers, all infernal invaders, all wicked legions, assemblies, and sects! Leave this child now, Abaddon! <laughs> Doing my name will do you little good praise! Ego from Adam Meku, of the Torah's Zoom! And to me, he of Skane Queens! Leave, desis demon! Ad locum hunde! Veneste! Ed retimet! 
most cunning serpent. You shall no more dare to deceive the human race, persecute the church, torment them as you have, and sift them as we. The most high God commands you. He with whom in your insolence you still claim to be equal. Leave this servant of our Lord. Leave this servant of our Lord Abaddon. Antichrodemon! Just trying out my sweet new camera. Come on, there's something interesting, Nick. No, Glenn. Oh, come on, man, don't leave me hanging. Because it's just me now. Oh, God, I would have never expected things to turn out like this. It's like it's a big nightmare. And I'm gonna wake up, and you'll be there. With your stupid camera in my face. Oh, but Glenn, if I if I could do it all over again, I would gladly trade my life for yours. But you just had to go and steal the spotlight. I doubted your ability to protect me and you proved me wrong. Oh, but I will never doubt you again. I love you, Glenn.
How are you doing? <laughs> I'm all right. I guess now I just... I just have to go out and see the world and just... Just really enjoy this chance of life that I've been given. That way I'll have plenty of stories to share next time I see them. Thank you.